Hello, my name is Michal Mruz. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a hose fitting using different types of hose clamps. Let's start with DCL clamps. It's made from a single length of band with a loop formed into a lens. The compression force is evenly distributed along the lens and the smooth inner surface of the band protects the hose from damage. The clamp is made of 304 stainless steel and color coded with a strip for easier identification. To mount this clamp, I'm going to use special shape clamps pliers. The clamping range of this clamp is from 5.8 to 25.5 mm. When we have chosen the right clamp size for this hose diameter, we slip it over the end of the hose. Remember not to position the clamp too close to the end of the hose or too close to the end of the hose tail. Insert the fitting axially into the hose. Now just close the clamps with the pliers in one easy move. Another way to assemble fitting is to use ear clips. There are two styles of ear clips with one and with two ears. Both it's in plate steel and stainless steel. It is very simple and inexpensive solution. The clamps are mounted with standard pincers. The clamping range of this clip is from 5 to 46 mm. Similarly as in the first example, we slide the clip over the hose, insert the fitting and we tighten the ears at both sides with the pincers. There is another type of ear clips, it's called ear clips W. It comes with a liner which perfectly protects the hose against damage. The clamping range is from 7.5 to 19.3 mm. Ear clips W is installed exactly the same as ear clip. Another type of clamp is called cough clamp. It is designed for lightweight PVC hoses and rubber hoses. The smooth inner surface of the band protects the hose from damage. It's made of stainless steel, so it can be used in the food industry or in the medical sector. You have to use special pliers to install this clamp. This clamp is available in size ranging from 5.7 to 18.5 mm. We put the clamp over the hose, insert the fitting and we pinch it as we have done in previous case. The next example is wire clip, made of zinc plate spring steel, intended for mounting low pressure hoses in a very quick way. The clamping range is from 7.8 up to 20.6 mm. You can mount it using standard combination plier. Again, we put the clamp over the hose, insert the fitting and we slide the clamp in the correct spot. Another option is a very popular asphalt worm drive clamp, available in two widths, 9 and 12 mm. You can use a flexible shaft screwdriver to install this clamp in the tight spaces. These clamps are made of zinc plated steel or stainless steel and can be used for all sorts of application. They come in a large range of size, from 8 up to 240 mm. We position the clamp in the right place and using enough force we tighten it with a spanner. Another type is mini clip, a bolt clip with rounded edges which prevent the hose from cutting into the hose. It is made of electrostatically plated carbon steel or stainless steel, available in diameter from 6 to 32 mm. Just a flat screwdriver is enough to mount it. Super heavy duty clamp is designed for mounting heavy walled, reinforced industrial hose. It's a robust clamp with rounded bent edges. The clamping range is from 17 mm up to 408 mm. After marking the place on the hose where the clamps will be placed, we insert the fitting into the hose. Then we slide the clamp to the correct position and we start tightening the bolt. The procedure is the same for DPC clamps, which feature very robust double band. Two bolts provides a precise and sealed tight connection of the fittings and the hose. The clamp is either all zinc plated steel or all stainless steel. 
When installing the clamp, you should tighten the bolts alternately at each side until the desired tension is reached. The last clamp example is a flex gear clamp. It's a bent clamp with a spring-loaded lock which maintains a constant tension. It's suitable for application where temperature and pressure fluctuation occur. Liner with rounded edges protect the hose cover from damage and ensures a uniform tension of the entire circumference. All you need to install it is a right size flat spanner.